Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Paraplegic Gardener. Today, don't need that up. It's quite fresh out here. Tina's been out in the car, and she said it was uh, the car. She said it was six degrees out here today. It might have warmed up a little bit in the sun. It might not. This is the last of the chilies that are in the greenhouse. So we're just going to take all the fruits off, whether they're green, red, yellow, or whatever. They can dry out and get chopped up and put in with the chili flakes. And a couple of them we're going to cut back and pop them indoors. I'm putting them in there, am I? Yeah, I mean, you might need more. That's got nothing on it. The other two that I was talking about are actually Tabasco's. Oh, the ones on the floor? Yeah, I'll leave them there for now. These fruits are quite soft. These ones are bird's eye chilies. We've had a very, very good harvest off of these this year. They've just got to that point now where they're going to get cut back. So all I'm going to do is cut them back. Pretty much just like that. The leaves will drop off. We'll keep it watered over the winter, not a lot, just enough to keep it moist. And, and then uh, hopefully in the spring, we'll have a bit of a head start on some of the ones that we plant. So hopefully. So let's do some more. There you go, simple as that. We'll check back on these next year. We're going to put them indoors, but we'll check back on them next year and see what happens with them. I shall now do the rest. That's all the chilies done now. These tall ones are going to go in the compost. So all the chilies in the greenhouse have been dealt with. The only thing that's in there now is lavender, ginger. What else is in the greenhouse? Strawberry plants gone in the greenhouse. The dianthus has gone in. Um, that spreading plant that I bought this year has gone in. And the succulent, see if that's come back or not. So there you go, that's what's gone back in the greenhouse. And two Tabasco are still in there. Yeah, we've got two Tabasco plants. I don't think they're going to do much over the winter in the frost. But um, yeah, all these ones done. We're going to put all these indoors and this tie red and uh, we shall see what happens over the winter into next year. Hopefully it should give us a head start on all the chilli seeds that we're going to plant. These ones will obviously, if they do overwinter successfully, they'll start shooting out from what we've cut back and it will be good to go. So we'll just do a couple more little jobs in the garden. So let's go and have a look. Tina's trimming out her beds. 
She's cutting the lemongrass back, seeing if that comes back next year. Yeah, we don't really have a clue about that one. Whether that, we don't know if that's going to come back or not. Are you taking everything else out? Of this bed, because there's nothing else that will come back. Everything in this bed's pretty much died off or it won't come back next year. The one over there, she's left the parsley, you just cut the dead bits off. Mm. Are you going to put the tops on? Yeah. And then um, once she's done it all, we've got some tops that go on top of these, like little mini greenhouses. So we'll be getting those out of the garage and popping them on. And uh, help give the plants a helping hand over winter. I might stand the ch um, chive plants on, in here. Yeah, good idea. We've got some carrots. These ones have done quite well from the little time that they've been in. Parsnips, not so much. And carrots at that end, not so much again. But I uh, don't know if they'll be ready for Christmas, but we've got some over there in a pot which are superb. Are we taking them all down, these osteosperms? Yeah, they're done now. Right. I'm just saying you won't be able to reach them with it. I need the chainsaw for this. They are quite tough, I know. <coughs> Do you want the secateurs? Because I'm done with them now. They did really well, didn't they? <laughs> Nice earthy smell when you're gardening and cutting stuff up. We cut that up small because it's going on the compost and cutting it small is just going to help it break down a bit easier and quicker. We don't have a shredder so do it by hand. Well the carrots at that end aren't so much a problem because they're not really doing anything. Well, it's the parsnips as well. So I don't know if they'll grow any more over winter into next year. Oh, actually, the roots are quite close to the side, so they may not be too bad. This here is the raised bed, which we put in at the start of the year. We've grown spring onions, radish, rocket, beetroot in here as well. So when everything was finished, we pulled it all up, made sure there's no weeds in it, and we've covered it up for the winter, basically to try and stop the weeds growing. So we're gonna have a quick look underneath now and see what it looks like. We've got a bit of weed growth in here. No, it's not drastic. I can stay like that till the spring and we can uh, maybe start some stuff off in the greenhouse and then put it into this little bed when it's growing a little bit. There's the parsnips, hopefully they'll be ready for Christmas. I'm not quite sure what state they're in because we've not dug any up yet but we will get some in just in case they're a bit naff.
hope you've enjoyed this video see what we get up to on these cold wintry days there's not a lot going on in the garden this time of year I'm, I have to look up but I'm not sure if we've missed the pruning window because we've got a couple of little trees over there that we could prune I'll, uh, I'll look that up and if, uh, if we can still do it this time of year then I'll do a little video on how to prune which is quite straightforward but uh, yes that's all the chilli plants dealt with now till next year got quite a few indoors some are still growing quite well the ones that I cut back the other week and they're in the kitchen window have started sprouting new leaves so watch this space on those Tina's just cleaning these little greenhouse things off she's installed those so we can just keep the frost off of the plants that are in the raised planters and uh, that's probably about it for today isn't it yeah, the sun's going round now, shadows are coming across the patio, so it will start, and there's not a single cloud in the sky, so it will get properly fresh tonight. Minus two. Minus two, according to the weather expert over there. I think we ought to set up a channel for Tina, Tina's, Tina's Meteo station, Tina's Meteo channel, tune in every day for the weather. Yeah, but so we've got our on site weather advisor who says it's going to be minus two tonight, so it's going to be a bit char nifty. So, yeah, I'll put in the description below the link to my ebook. Um, I don't earn a lot out of it, pennies basically. But, um, if you wanted to go over and check it out, I think it's one dollar ninety nine, I think, and obviously in different countries it's different. But yeah, so I think over the next few months I'll be concentrating on my next book, which is a bit more in depth. Not so much gardening from a wheelchair, but gardening per se. So yeah, that's something else to look forward to. Probably won't be ready till next year now. But, um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Hope you like this video please click the thumbs up all helps comment below ask any questions you like please subscribe if you haven't already and it's bye for now